Welcome to the, tw well, this is the 13th episode of my first ever Let's Play featuring Sweden in Empire Total War. Uh, in the last battle, I protected Hanover, my newly conquered province against Prussia, who declared war on me and attacked me without provocation, for which one day they shall pay. Now, uh, this is probably the closest battle I've had thus far. It was very close. And uh, I couldn't bring my artillery pieces to bear as, as I should have, and it was just so close a battle. And I'm so glad that my general survived, who is my epic general. Now, uh, it was a heroic battle, and the reason it was cut short is uh, nothing else was happening. The time it ran out. Uh, well, actually, his, uh, his last troop just stood next to the walls, and I just shot down at him, and he was just standing there getting shot. So... They ran away, and then his general and his cannons decided to run away. So it, it, it was, you know, nothing interesting happening after I cut it off, basically. Now, you can, the results speak for themselves, basically. Against what I consider to be a much superior force, the Prussians have excellent line infantry. They are just awesome in every single way. And Prussia usually focuses on military tech. This has just been such a battle that I have not had in ages. Now, uh, like I did say in the, in the actual battle, if I were to win this battle, I am going to give them Hanover in exchange for peace. Because Hanover is not a province that is vital to me. And as I'll show you whenever it's my turn, I'll show you the other reason why. Yes, okay. Uh, the important thing to remember here is that Prussia is at war with pretty much everyone. They are at war with uh, the United Provinces, they are at war with uh, Great Britain. I believe they are at war with France, I'm not 100% sure. Um, actually, they're probably not, are they? No, they're not at war with France. But they're at war with Austria, with Great Britain, and with the United Provinces. And since Hanover is a big border to the United Provinces, if I give them Hanover, they will have to deal with them. And I don't. Now, I don't want to give them improved settlement fortifications, so I'm going to destroy that before I give it away. Actually, I will not have time to do that, will I? No. Hmm. Oh, Prussia. You're so crazy. Ah, and yes, you blockaded my port, which reduced my income by a lot and made me very angry. So I'm going to crush his navy before anything else happens. And it's just a bunch of Indiamen. I mean, Jesus Christ. Inventor order. And there we go. Now he's been crushed. I shall see if he wants peace in exchange for Hanover. Which I consider to be a great deal after I just crushed him. No. Oh, you. Oh, you. I guess I'll have to fall back to Copenhagen. Because there is no way I'm defending. That I'll be able to defend. Hanover with what I had. I know it has improved settlement fortification, but so does Copenhagen. And hopefully I can... Freaking Prussia, why do I have to do that? Why do I have to be so mean? I don't understand it. Now this army is just horse artillery. So, I might actually have to fight it myself, but it'll be incredibly easy, so I'm not going to show it to you. Yeah, see, for some reason that's, you know, low, but it's actually really easy. So, I'll be right back. Well, that backfired. That backfired quite quite badly. As you can see, I lost quite a few. I lost my unit, and uh, yeah, it just backfired. Hmm. But I do want to get rid of him, so I'm going to. Except this time, I'll send more people. Uh, he managed to defeat me because he just used cancer shot. So yeah, once again, I'll be right back. Right, there we go. Uh, the reasoning I lost the last one is uh, 
I was not aware that horse cavalry, no horse cannons, could use canister shots, but they can, which I didn't know. So I didn't plan for it. Didn't send enough people, so my other uh, line of unit got decimated by canister shot. Which always sucks. Uh, now then, now then. What shall I do with Prussia? They're bastards, but they don't want peace. That's all. What if I gave you... Hanover again. And 20 turns of military access. What about that? No. What if I give you some technology? A sextant, which you will never be able to use. And I still give you Hanover. No. Okay. Well, it looks like I have to find the allies. I really don't want war with Spain and France. It'll destroy my trade. However... It will give me opportunities for conquest in a new world. Well, they don't want an alliance with me anyway, do they? Well, you know, in provinces did. So I'll give them military access in exchange for military access. Thank you, sir. Now, Great Britain, do you want to be my friend? No, you don't. What if I give you military access? 20 turns. No. Okay, I'll ask him again next turn. He's just stubborn right now. And I'll keep destroying things in Hanover. Since uh, this is, you know, once again part of my Scorch Earth strategy of denying resources to my enemies because I know Hanover will be conquered. I cannot stand up to the might of Prussia. I just hope that Pon Lithuania kicks his ass. Can I get peace with you if uh, we make an alliance? No. We could have made an alliance against Prussia, but no. Suit yourself. I have to equip more people. And, uh, money's becoming an issue. Even though I'm earning, you know, just extraordinary amounts of money each turn. It's still not good enough. This guy gets minus two happiness. For... Minus two for lower classes. Oh, I'll take this guy instead. Oh, what about this guy? Frugal and thrifty, no. So there we go, a new head of... Uh, of government. I'm at war with so many people, it's not even funny. Well, actually just three. So there's nothing near what Prussia is. But it's still <laughs> more than enough for me. I enjoy peace, I really do. I know it's the wrong game for me if I enjoy peace, but... I like it when it's a bit peaceful. Not so much backstabbing and intrigue. And just that Prussian army scares the hell out of me. He's got well over two full armies, and his line infantry, the Prussian line infantry, is excellent. It just scares me. Hmm. Okay, well, time to turn again, I guess. Oh, these guys. Still not replenished, but if they can wait, to be honest. They're not priority numero uno right now. Hmm. Oh, Prussia. He has so many armies, so many places, and... Historically, Prussia was a, you know, they were, the military of Prussia was the best in the world. I know 
some people might argue with that, but that's, you know, it was just an amazing military machine. And I'm now facing that. Are there any free trading slots anywhere? No, that still belongs to the Knights of St. John. And uh, Russia still has a fleet over there. So I'll just join forces with someone else. And my general died. That was the new general. I just, I just got him. Like literally, just now. I got him. Just now. Oh well. Four, eight. Okay, so I'll get a couple of cavalry units in here. Should I get dragoons or should I get normal cavalry? A hundred men. Wow. I need cavalry. I don't need uh, I don't need men who's just ma who's just mounted and fight on foot. It's not really what I need. And over here, I can actually use a couple of dragoons over here. At least one regiment of horse. And I have to make more armies. I am really threatened by by Prussia. They really gave me a scare. I gotta say. I'll make a couple of uh, howitzers again. Yeah. And how, what else am I missing? I'm missing a couple of cavalry units, aren't I? Yes. Yes. Cavalry for the win. Like, just the cavalry units. Jesus. Okay, now, uh, fire by rank in three turns, once I have that, I will have superiority in any and all battles. I do not believe Prussia has it yet. Prussia does have socket bayonets. I know that from a trade earlier. Okay, they've had time to cool down now. Maybe the Great Britain, no, still no alliance with Great Britain. Maybe Prussia. Once Hanover again. No. Okay, well you guess what Prussia? I'm gonna give it to the United Provinces. Because I don't want Hanover. And this way, the United Provinces will fight you. I might create a monster and make Prussia even more powerful by crushing all of the United Provinces. I really hope not, but it, it's a risk. And it's took me a second back to Donsk. Wow. Seriously, that is an impressive military machine right there. Venstron! Venstron Marsh! That's correct. Now, how is my army recruitment? Yes, it's coming along nicely. Okay, my plans are falling into place. Uh, it looks like... Uh, yeah. Looks like I'll be alright, maybe. Now, this army, I want to fight. Uh, I want to take Prussia with it. However, I'm going to go from the other way. I'm going to attack Poland Lithuania before Prussia takes everything he has. Which I think he might do now. And I'm going to take Vilnius and Königsberg and uh, all of these good places. Then I'm going to force Poland Lithuania into peace with me. So I can focus my efforts on Prussia and Russia. Because uh, the most dangerous enemy, though, is the one you forget about. And if I just ignore Russia right now, or, Pro or Poland Lithuania for that matter, he could come back and bite me in the ass later. So I have to deal with them. Russia still maneuvering troops up to me. To be a bastard, basically. I do love that I'm still at, I'm still at peace with the Barbary pirates. 
I actually managed to get there. Well, they asked me for peace. I have no idea why, but I'm so happy it happened. Now, I'm going to get measuring tools, so that way I can upgrade my infrastructure and get some uh, really good infrastructure going. Heavy cavalry. 80 men as well. That is a really powerful cavalry unit. Very powerful. And the upkeep is just 20 more, no, 40 more than the normal one. That is great, I'm going to use those. However, I'm still missing cannons here. I need one more of those. Three more howitzers. And how many more men? I need two more line infantry units. Okay, that's perfect. And three heavy cavalry. Exactly three turns until my army is finished. Excellent news. And I should crush Russia. I should make them beg for mercy. While at the same time I'm still recruiting an army. Over here. Now I might not want to put a, that big of a queue. Save some money. There we go. So I can still make units in Copenhagen. Order. Nope. What does Prussia Mars. have to trade with? Who are they trading with? Hmm. Mystic. Now, this navy, I want to split it up. I want to have a troop transport, which is basically the brig and the sloop. I want to have everyone else ready to defend Malmö. I don't want to have to blockade Malmö again. And there we go. Ready to roll. Ready to kick ass. Ah, and a new gentleman. I love it. Where's this guy? He's a f oh, industrial tech. Okay. And the industrial is currently in Yetheborg. And another gentleman. How about that? Even more industrial technologies. So I'll send him to Jotunborg as well. And now I have a rake in the Caribbean as well. Okay. Now. make them suffer and I will make Prussia suffer I have three armies well soon to be three armies I have one full one and uh, two more on, well on the way and again, I did forget about my howitzers I forgot about them don't worry about that, about that though I'll have them soon enough Ah yes, I like it when things goes thing goes my way. You might think it, these things are not going my way, but actually, you know, it's going quite fine right now. Uh, I was in trouble a bit uh, when Prussia attacked me. However, I believe I have the situation under control because Prussia is fighting so many people, and since I gave away Hanover, I believe the United Provinces and uh, Prussia will fight a lot more. Even though the United Provinces are at war with France, which is quite a problem. Actually, so they'll be pressing two fronts. But so is Prussia. And I'll be one of the fronts push pushing on Prussia. Pushing on Prussia? Huh, that's funny. So. No issue. No contest. He will die. And Austria wants a military alliance. No, Austria, you're far away from everything. I don't want anything to do with you. Sorry. I know you're allied to my allies, well, to my ally, but I still want nothing to do with you.
that Great Britain would be a great ally to have. Since I'm already allied with uh, the United Provinces, so I'm already at odds with France and Spain, then Great Britain would be a great ally to have. But I believe they, they still won't accept peace with me. No, I mean, and the lines with me. Okay, trade with the Barbary states? That'd be funny. You trade with Persia? Why? No. Go away. I don't want military lines with you. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay that for a trade agreement. That's fine. Now to keep recruiting. Actually, I probably shouldn't build those just yet. Okay, one one howitzer and two infantry. There we go. That should do it. And then Russia shall bleed, just like Poland, Lithuania shall right now. Now I am very tempted to take Königsberg. However, I want to strike from left to right. I want Vilnius as well, so I'm going to take Vilnius. Now, I could have just gone straight in and taken Königsberg, however, then I'll have to go back to Vilnius and uh, Prussia, and Gdansk would have taken it. So this might be longer the way I'm going right now, but I believe it's safer. And my troop transports are working perfectly. Are oh, you still making Indiaman, the bastard? <laughs> not for much longer, he's not. Now, I am in three, three, two, okay. There we go, that should do it. I'll need another general. I guess I'll just promote one. There we go. And this cavalry will do. So there we have it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Cannons. Excellent. You shall pay. Prussia shall pay. Th this is mostly a defensive force right now like, against uh, Prussia. I am going to strike against Berlin as soon as possible. However, I do not want to be way too aggressive. That is never wise. It's never wise to be too passive and it's never wise to be too aggressive. You have to find a middle ground. Now uh, these two boys are going to be put into ships and I'm going to send them to the continent. Now why can't I move? Ah yes, because of his little uh, Indiaman in his port. And did that not work? Ah, I see. Okay. Uh, I was just a small bug right there, or a badly designed part of the game. But uh, no matter, I have my brakes ready to go. And uh, I believe my plans are coming into fruition right now. Everything is going exactly like I wanted to. 
Unfortunately, Prussia does not have any provinces worth taking in the New World. Otherwise, I could have expanded my uh, colonial uh, possessions over there, which would have been quite fun. Now it just sucks that I have to fight Prussia, because they are Protestant, which I was reminded by those missionaries right there. And Protestants should be my allies, not my enemies. We need to spread the true religion against unbelievers like the French and the Spanish, not to mention the bloody Ottomans. There we go. Redo. Now this will be an easy battle. So, ultra is all that. Victory. Killed a bunch of guys. No problem. I lost way too many though. I don't like the ultra resolves in this game. Lost way more men than I had to. But oh well. That's how it goes, and he accepted surrender. Wise choice, I must say. Saved a lot of lives. Oh. Let's stop all this recruitment, because my income is going to hell. There we go. Now I can make some money. I can bleed my population dry. Oh, the joy. Bah. The costs of running an empire. Now, Pont Lithuania might lose Konigsberg to Prussia anytime soon. And if he does, I'm going to try and get a peace agreement with him. Because my goal right now is to kill Prussia. Fire by rank is finished though. Would have been fun to use. And I shall use it. First of all, socket bayonets. Important. Seasoning. Is that so important? Ah, yes. That is actually quite handy. Yes, yes, very good. Very good. New nation of Afghanistan, what? Okay, good for you boys, good for you. Yeah, yeah, gonna have to get rid of you. Have all my other boys they suck so I'm gonna do this old trick of getting rid of my ministers uh, this way I can get new ones ASAP and I've captured Lithuania it is now mine pleasure gardens that sounds very naughty a very naughty and where's this alleged, alleged uh, church no college there is that must be dest destroyed. I don't want educated masses in Lithuania. That would be horrible. Who would clean my toilets? Austria, I believe, are at war with the Ottoman Empire, and they're actually taking some provinces from them, which is very surprising. And now Lithuania's just being a dick and running around destroying things. And there we go, Russia coming with a big, yeah, big army. We we might have battle on our hands. <laughs> yep, 
Yes. And another gentleman. Excellent. He's a scholar. I don't care, you're gonna research military technology. And more raids and workers on strike in Lithuania. Oh, the joys of ruling a nation. Now then, instead of this bloody school over here, I'm gonna make a church. Because this is hardcore orthodox territory. Actually, Catholicism territory. I guess that's Catholic territory, isn't it? Yes, the joys of English. Now, he splits uh, quite a bit. However, my units are not ready to engage in war. They're all very wounded because of my stupid auto-resolving. Meanwhile, Prussia is just recruiting Indiamen like crazy. Like the bastard he is. I should really get heavy cavalry instead of these instead of these useless boys. Well, they're not useless. They'll do. They'll do. I believe he has hussars and they have uh, lances or spears. So I don't really want to mess with them. That guy. Hmm. These three territories would do well. However, uh, it'll spread my my uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank here. For some reason I can't think of it. Colony. It'll spread my colonies thin. And I don't want that. I'll just blockade their port. And, uh, let us see what he has. Does he have anything serious at all? He has quite a sizable army. I am going to engage them. And we might have a battle on our hands. And we do. I'm not going to make the same mistake again and I'll resolve and lose way too many men. So I will see you on the battle map.